What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. Uh, got a new toy to introduce to the channel. Got me a 2013 Harley Electroglide Classic with the 103 and 6 speed transmission and the uh, big blue pearl here. And the wife actually got her a bike too. Her first bike, so it's just a 250 Honda CBR 250. Uh, 2015 I believe but anyways I uh I got this Harley and it has this heel shifter right here and I'm just not a fan of it uh I need a little bit of more space I tend to rest my heel right here and as I'm riding I'm always bumping this and it's just it's just annoying um some guys like it some guys don't but I'm not a fan of it so I'm gonna take it off but in doing so you need this part right here i bought it right off of amazon two day shipping 36 bucks you can see the part number right there but uh there was some cheaper ones on there like some knockoff brands they're like 15 18 20 bucks i figured just go ahead and you know, buy the name brand thing. Every time I buy cheap off of Amazon, it always seems to bite me in the butt. So I'm gonna do a quick little video on installing this and uh, you know, my review on it, what I think of it and the machining and how my feet ride on it uh, after I get it installed. But uh, turn the camera around and show you guys the process. All right, well. See what we got in here. 80 and up electric glides, road glides, road king, street glides, and tracks. Of course, your handy dandy instructions, packaging. I already pulled it out earlier to take a look at it. I was a little excited, but. That's all she is right there. It's just that uh, machined and chromed aluminum with this uh, rubber gasket inside. The ones on Amazon, the knockoff brands, it looked like the rubber grommet was actually a separate piece than this. And uh, I like this design better, how this is pressed in there. Just a better fit, good machine you know, quality. Uh, you can see they countersunk it and cleaned up all the edge, nice chrome. So overall, I mean, you're, you're spending 10 more bucks, essentially 15 tops and you're getting much better quality part. Um, like I said, I've learned to just buy the good stuff instead of doing it over twice later on down the road or, you know, this, this, you're, you're working with your shifter here. So you don't want this falling off or anything going haywire. And leaving you on the side of the road over ten, fifteen dollars. So it's gonna go. So you're gonna pull this heel shifter off, and then you can bring your, you know, regular foot shifter out further. And then this is gonna go right there behind it to make up the slack. If you don't put this in there, you'll have a lot of slop in your shifters here, and uh, you'll end up screwing something up, or you know potentially wrecking your bike from your shifter not working right or you know who knows who knows what can go wrong but we're gonna take this off install it out in there um should all you have to do theoretically is just loosen these two um bolts right here maybe put a wrench on there and i mean not a wrench a screwdriver or uh you know anything you can wedge in there to kind of spread that apart so it pulls off that shaft easier but just be careful when you're, you know, messing around with that shaft because it is machine part and you don't want to mess up any of the uh, splines on there, cause you some future problems. But uh, that's the bike. Got the uh, drag specialties extended reach seat on there. I lowered it one inch. Um, dash is all chromed out. She's in really good shape for 2013. The gentleman I got it from was 
a grandpa, you know, the classic story, but he took excellent shape of it, bought it, bought it, uh, new in 2013 and, uh, he ended up breaking his wrist and couldn't ride anymore. They had to fuse his wrist. So I took her off his hands for her, but I love it so far. I've wanted a Harley my whole life. I've had Jap bikes and, uh, just finally got my Harley. My, my great uncle was a big Harley guy and being around him as a kid, I always wanted me a Harley. So finally got one plus, you know, American made just like the old Ford back there. But hopefully we can get the wife on, uh, she likes the uh, Indians. So still American made. I can deal with that. Maybe one day she'll get her a Harley, <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to pull those off and, uh, throw this bushing on there maybe record some of that for you guys but pretty simple process anybody can install one of these so don't be afraid Give you a little time get you a ratchet if you got one with this quarter inch uh, hex key on there if not you can go old school but uh you're gonna have to do a lot of little half turns because you ain't got much room under there but um these are quarter inch you need to move the bolt take it out completely or else these won't slide off because when you put these on, that bolt actually goes in that little groove right there. So, you know, these can't slide off. It's that plus the tension of clamping on the shaft is what holds them on. But got both of these pulled off. All you're going to do is just, you know, grab, wiggle them off. Don't go crazy with it because you don't want to mess up these splines. Uh, spray a little WD-40 on there if you need to. But... This, take this rubber grommet off, and then position your shifter where you like it, the angle, 
and then slide it up on there. Put your bolt back in, tighten her up, and that's it. It's that simple. I'll get it all assembled back and uh, show you guys the finished product. Well, that's the finished product. No play, nice and tight. Yeah. Feels like less than even stock. Play back and forth. Um, a little bit more shaft sticking out than I think originally, but um, might touch that up with some black paint just so it looks a little better. Stuff like that might not bother you, but it uh, affects my OCD. <laughs> but anyways, super easy install. Anybody can do this. Like I said, all you need literally is a quarter inch Allen uh, key or Allen bit, and you can knock it out. But definitely going to make my rods a lot more comfortable. Uh, hope this video helps you guys out if you're on the fence of deciding whether to do this or not. Um, can't beat it for 36 bucks for comfort, especially when you're on them really long rides. First road I ever, or first ride I ever did on this bike was three and a half hours, and the whole time I just wanted to rip that hill shifter off. So it's gonna make my riding a lot more enjoyable. But y'all check out the other videos on the channel. I'm gonna keep posting more as I work on this Harley, and we're gonna lower the Weiss bike. Um, probably do some videos on that and then the bull nose Fords videos will always keep coming but anyways thanks for checking out the video catch you guys on the next one